Hey, Spuddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Moonlighter. And now, we're gonna try and take on the boss. Let's see, I'm gonna be so upset if I don't kill this boss. I'm pretty sure I can build him. I, I got really close the first time, so I think I have it. Well, I have what it takes. Plus, I have really much better equipment now. I have a pretty open floor plan right now. Okay, I managed to dodge that. Let's keep shooting him. Okay, we're doing the damage. I might be over geared for this. Okay, dodge. There's like a rhythm to it, you know? Ow. Okay, I can't really shoot at him this time. I could probably kill him before he fires that. Nice. Awesome. We killed the Golem King. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Picked up some prismatic crystal. And I think we got a key. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Oh, and a super chest. Oh, nice. So what are they? Golem King energy crystals. Ooh, I'm sure those are worth a lot each. I didn't even use a potion. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. So what's in here? Golem history. Golem volume. Golem history 3. Golem king jottings. Oh man, these have all got to be worth a lot. Golem designs. The portal opens. I didn't mean to be finished with the chest. I pressed the wrong button. Let me open this again. Got a golem chisel, we got a rune tool, another golem history, golem designs. Are these cultural artifacts? Can I give these to someone? To do like unlock a museum or something? That would have been a cool sub mechanic to collect those things. I think I would have liked that. What's this? What? What is. No, 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 no. What was the ball thing? Alright, nice. Kick ass. Hell yeah. We we killed the Golem King. I'm sure this is gonna unlock a story thing. <gasps> okay. We put a key in. I'm gonna talk to Zevin. I God, I forgot his name. <laughs> Zenon. It was you, wasn't it, Will? The one who defeated the Golem King? Boy, you put yourself in such a necessary danger, dot dot dot. A lock on the door opened? Maybe Pete was onto something. Regardless, just leave it. That door isn't worth your life. Pete didn't heed our warnings, and well, due to the buzz of your her your heroics are creating, the town has decided to reopen the forest dungeon. But with the Golem King dead by your hands, now is a greater time to focus on Moonlighter. Take advantage of this momentum to expand the shop a bit. The town board could should show you what contractors are available. A somewhat strange-looking traveler is looking to set up a shop in town as well. He specializes in crafting odd ornaments and such. Could make some for some great decorations once you expand. Ah, and finally, Andrew over at Vulcan's Forge is preparing some new gear. He predicts an influx of materials from the forest dungeon to occur as people become more brazen due to your recent actions. Go there, see what he can offer. I won't have your demise on my shoulders, boy. So we just looks like looks like we unlocked some new gear. Cool. There's the mason. He opened up the dungeon. Cool, cool, cool. Let's talk to you. So he said some new gear opened up. I assume it's because, yeah. Neat. Wow, this gear gets way better, way faster than I thought. I mean, spears are cool and all because I got that range. I am kind of tempted to go get spears and do the spear thing because they do have good damage and, you know. I think I like the sword and shield though. Maybe we'll do spears. We'll never know. So the hawker inspire people. Make your shop look more interesting to visitors. Cool. Uh, so I need to go earn some money, but I also kind of want to check out the forest dungeon. Hmm. 
What do we do? What do we do? This guy sells odds and ends. I think this guy was a good investment. You know, I can get like odds and ends and bits and bobs and stuff that I need. Can I buy more than one of a thing? Oh, he can craft roots. Cool. Interesting. Interesting. It's pretty expensive, but it is a way to acquire specific things that I need. I want to talk to this guy. This guy said something about cultural artifacts. Is that true? Because he heard some of the defeat of the huge guardian. You defeated the Dugong, did you find any exclusive artifacts? Ooh, yes I did. You can bet your... I'm hearing people say you defeated the Golden King, Will. You, a merchant, not a hero. These are interesting times indeed. I actually want to go earn more money. I don't want to try any, but they do seem really tasty. I kind of want to go kill the Golem King again. You're a merchant, Will. Uh, naive. Okay. Let's sell some stuff and then go to night time. Now, I definitely think these Golem King energy crystals are worth at least... Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sell them one at a time. I'm going to sell this one for 3,000. This one for... 3,300. And then this one for 3,600. See which price people tolerate. Uh, the golem volume, I know the price of. The golem history. It's got to be at least 2,000. Maybe 2,250? That's got to be a fair price for that. These are like super rare books, man. You know? And this other stuff we have a price on. Oh, except for that one. Ah, oh, this has got to be 3,000 as well. Come on. Oh, I meant to place you. Whoops. You're in between the two golem histories, so you're probably like 2,000. Yeah, I think 2,250 feels like a good price for these. All right, let's open up. Get the stuff sold off so we can go and uh, go on an adventure. We can keep an eye out for thieves. Oh, I haven't put anything in the bargain bin box. So you're looking like so. Is that a thief symbol? Is that how I know people are going to shoplift by that symbol there? So you want to buy that? Hey. I'm sorry for making you wait. I had to deal with a shoplifter. It's like doing that shirt opening thing. I don't know what that means. People have these, these weird little things that happen on their heads. Okay, yeah, you can buy that. Two thousand two hundred fifty. Okay, they seem pretty happy with that price. I think I hit the nail on the head there. I'm getting a feel for what the prices could be. I sometimes get it wrong, but you know. Okay, they're happy with that crystal price. Okay, so that one's a little bit high, but you'll still buy it. Sell off all this other stuff too. Hey, you look like you're going to steal stuff. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Jerk. Okay, that price is a bit high. But you still pay it. The demand went lower on those. I can't imagine little old ladies stealing. Although you never know if that's how they get away with it. Because he wouldn't suspect them. The price of these things is going low because I have a lot of them. 
Okay, I think I have the cash now to safely go and uh, do things. Shop is closed, lady. Buy something or get out. Yeah, okay, the price on that's too high. The, the popularity of it must have come down, right? That's too high, okay. So how much did we manage to sell? Yeah, 35,000, that's not bad. Oh man, do I, I, I kind of want to go into the forest dungeon, but I also want to go into the golem dungeon to earn more money. I feel like I could get more money out of the golem dungeon. Whatever, we're going to go forest dungeon just because we unlocked it. Forest dungeon. Not, a, not recommended for merchants. I mean, we've got decent gear coming in here. Like, I think we have entry level gear for this dungeon, although I'm worried that the enemies in here are going to be much harder. That's definitely a concern. Oh dear. Definitely going to be a step up in difficulty, I imagine. Um, as we progress through this dungeon. I mean, the I'm expecting the bottom floor to be fairly, you know, standard and trivial. Oh, new jellies. <gasps> These are the guys for crafting that other stuff. Okay, ow. Did I clean out my inventory? I don't think I did. Okay, they definitely do a lot more damage in here. That's definitely true. Oh, okay, they's ho they home. I did not know that. Yeah, you can see he took a couple extra hits there. We are getting the basic loot though. Nice plant flesh, all that good stuff. I like that the... I feel like the music is different. I feel like... It really does feel like an entirely different atmosphere. I mean, I know it is an entire... Ooh! New lore. Uh, we have yet to discover the perpetrator who was as of a year... Who as of a year ago destroyed several of our experiments. Now much of our research materials are disappearing on a daily basis. Okay. So it seems like some sort of expeditions were done into these things to figure them out. Maybe? Oh, he looks like some sort of artillery... And he leaves it behind. I wonder if that damages you. I think we're going to find out. Okay, he's dead, so I guess we don't get to find out. I feel like I could fall down here. Nope. <laughs> I was wrong. I mean, I did fall down, but not in the sense that I was expecting. Okay, I haven't seen these guys before. Okay, I do 38 damage with my bow now. Which feels pretty good. Oh, 116. That feels real strong. Oh, and we got our first chest in this dungeon. So, straw and fertilizer. Cool. Dodge. Oh, they home pretty well. Okay, there's the next floor. I don't think I'm ready to go to the next floor yet. I feel like I want to play around on the lower floors for a little while. I like using the bow and arrow on the high speed of this armor. This armor feels really good to me. I like the mobility. I do, and I'm not sure I really feel the speed. But it must be there. Nice, we open up all these pathways. Kill you pretty easily. Kill you pretty easy as well. This looks like stuff that falls away. Yep. Alright, so my ability to predict things in computer games is uh not diminished. Oh god. <laughs> he says as he falls down a pit. <laughs> oh gee. Okay. Alright. Alright. Ooh, new lore. Cool. Patterns. Oh yes, these dungeons do indeed have patterns. You may think they are random, you may even think they are chaotic, but no. No, they are actually quite the opposite. There is reason and repetition, some sort of divine guide, a template of a sort, some sort, followed every time the dungeon rebuild itself. For instance, we all know there are three floors to a dungeon, but have you noticed how this healing pot spring appears on every floor, and how it always appears on the path towards the next floor? <gasps> Place not only assist and heal, but also guide. These dungeons basically want you to find the treasure. Okay, that's interesting. I I hadn't noticed that, or not noticed, but, but I had felt that there might be some like meta pattern, and I guess I was kind of right, although I never really said it out loud. I was kind of like thinking, hmm, maybe there's a... 
pattern because I have seen a lot of the same rooms again over and over but I, di I didn't notice that this was on its own like branch of the dungeon towards the exit that was something I hadn't sort of picked up okay cool but that, that is actually very useful information should be able to kill this guy pretty easily Getting some of that nice royal jelly. Some life. We're getting empowering crystals too, which is pretty nice. Okay, so this is on the way to the exit. I don't want to go this way yet. That's really useful, actually, information, because if you find that early in a branch, then you know, you know, I don't want to go that way because I want to... These guys have... Okay, I'm getting better at killing things. Without getting hurt, he says. Uh, before inevitably getting killed in the next room. I do like the... I think the potion crafting mechanic is really cool. <gasps> uh, uh. Ooh, nice. nice. Ah! I would take a hit, wouldn't I? I would. <laughs> I'm getting better at dodging enemies. Takes a hit. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, these guys don't look friendly at all. These look familiar, actually. But I have strategies. I have strategies. I got strategery. This looks like a slightly better chest. Destroys one item upon returning to town. Uh, returning to town. Oh dear. Uh, I don't know what to expect from these guys. Also, I need to keep an eye out for that monster. I, need, I can't be too slow. What do you do? Do you just take a lot of damage? Is that your thing? You just you have a lot of health? I do like how easy they are to kill with this attack. Oh, that seems to home in on people too. That's interesting. Makes those guys kind of trivial to deal with, actually. Which, you know, I'm not going to complain about that. <gasps> oh, lore. Give me the lore. For the life of me, I cannot find the old bulb in wood nor iron chests. It must only be found in golden chests found in chambers full of artifacts. Hmm. That must mean, you know, you have to get deeper into the dungeon to get particular loot. Which totally makes sense in the context of the whole game mechanics and world development. I'm assuming there's some sort of lore in this direction. Because that would follow the pattern that I have noticed. That there always seems to be one direction with a piece of lore every time you enter a dungeon. Don't do this to me. Alright. Yeah, there always seems to be like one direction that has the, the lore thing. Oh, these guys actually poison you. Okay, so that means they're more dangerous. I like that. I like that they add new mechanics. I think I said that before, but... I like that the enemies don't just get more health. I like that they change how they act and, and their, their actual abilities. Okay, this, I don't like. I don't like you. Give me that wood. Careful. <laughs> There's uh, certain commoners who might take that literally. <gasps> Get over here. Dodge. Oh dear. So let's see if we can get rid of some of these. I don't think I need this. I, I'm getting plenty of empowering crystals. I don't mind trolling them away. And I kind of want to get a hold of some of this new loot. Magic wood. <laughs> oh, a rusty short sword. Interesting. 
I kind of want to keep those because that's good loot. That's really good loot, actually. Petals? I think I've had them before and they're pretty low value, right? Let's have a look at where you are on the thing. Yeah, you're pretty early. The thing is, I don't know which ones are useful, so I'm just going to sell off what's cheap. And hope that that's like the right pathway. Okay, the pendants are more expensive to use in here, so that's something. I need to make sure I'm getting more value. Oh dear, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Definitely need better armor. Oh dear, okay. Yeah, there's a reason I range you guys down. And I now see it. Because you only see, you seem to be weak to range. I think this does have some homing properties, because if I go up slightly out of angle with it... Yeah, it seems to like angle towards enemies, which is a nice little property. Alright, let's see if we can run to the next floor, maybe. I never opened this chest. It's actually pretty advanced. Uh, you know, I think I can safely sell. You know what I can do? I can actually use these rather than sell them. Definitely want to keep those. I want to keep these healing things. I already have a stack of flesh. Magic wood is pretty low on this, but I'm assuming it's going to be used for upgrades. That's the thing about that. Let me move these guys down. Okay, we're cleaning house. Now, which way was the exit? It was this way. Need to be careful. I don't know how long I'm allowed to stay in these dungeons before that bad guy appears. I can't assume, I can't really think it would be very long. Oh my god, these guys hurt. Okay, I need to be quicker. It seems like these guys have multiple ranges that they have attack patterns for. <gasps> I'm losing potions. Okay, he has appeared. Seems I've overstayed my welcome. More patterns of secrets. For those diving as far as the third floor, have you ever felt overburdened? Carrying just too much... You don't want to stop? Just kind of stop? Then I have something for you. Hidden somewhere on the third floor, between where you start and where you end. The end here being the massive creature at the If you are in, between those two, you may notice a sparkle. A glimmer of something just beyond a pit of... If you are brave, I ask that you jump. See what's down there. Okay, so on the third floor, there's a thing worth jumping into. Okay. Also, there's lore. We still don't know what the we call this grief. Some parts of the experimental force can do this with a place with wicked, wicked, wicked variants occasionally covered in green slime. Hmm. So I assume that this creature here has something to do with the corruption and he's going to be part of the sort of final uh, revelations of this storyline. Let's just advance. So on the third floor, there's a thing that I can do... ...that does something. I find a sparkle of some kind, okay. That's interesting. So I'm probably gonna get out of here on this floor. This is where the big loot is. Kind of tempted to get out now, because I feel like this is this is where things got pretty hectic on the other one.
Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling a bit outmatched here, so I'm just gonna bounce. It's eight thousand to come back to this floor. Do I feel like uh, you know what? Maybe I'll come back. Maybe that's worth it. You know? Maybe I'll get value. Especially if I don't have to work my way through that those other floors. I might be able to play around on that floor and get some good value. I need to figure out what I need to upgrade my armor. So in order to upgrade my leather, I need straw and magic wood. And I assume that's going to be the same for all of them. Yeah, straw and magic wood, which are found at the bottom floor, it seems. What about my sword here? So it looks like the equipment for upgrading these things are only found deeper in the dungeons. I did actually pick up a um, rusty sword and shield, which I'm kind of tempted to use. Because it has sparkles and stuff. Um, let's go sell stuff. Let's go make potions first. Yeah, see, I can make these mad cheap now. It's, her prices seem to change. I'm not sure what dictates her price changes. It seems to be nighttime, maybe? And I assume that these potions are made from the jellies of the next two dungeons as well. Which I think is a perfectly reasonable thing to assume. So I need to make at least, like... Not eight... I need to make at least 8,000 on this to make having teleported back be worth it. And then I need to make way more than 8,000 on the next trip to make having teleported back worth it. So life fluid is pretty early. It starts at about 60. So I'm going to sell life fluid for 100 each. Maybe I'm just going to sell them one at a time to get like a price idea. You know, because I don't want to... I don't want to undercharge when I could get a certain amount. I don't want to sell straw. How much is plant flesh worth? So 80 is actually... I have a price on that. Pure acid. Yeah. Uh, let's say 300. See what those prices look like. I'm pretty sure I have good prices on most of my stuff. Well, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change this. Because I happen to know what, like, my... Um, upsetting people price is. Ah, we'll just... We'll, we'll sell them for, like, yeah. Okay prices. Yep. Yeah, I'll buy that off you. Or I'll sell that to you, rather. I feel like the sale bin could be good if I just want to get rid of bulk stuff, maybe? Uh, fluid vessel. That actually appears pretty deep. Now, what is the maximum price on some of this stuff? That's a question I have to ask. I think it goes down to like 6,000? 5,000. So this could well be, like, at a thousand already. The price of that chisel was too high, but that price here was okay. Yep. Chisel price really still too high? This comes so deep into the tree, though, and, like, the next item easily sells for, like, a couple thousand. All right, 800. Sell some more stuff. There's a shady looking guy. Did I get a price on these? No. Okay, where do you appear? You're pretty early. I think these could go for a hundred each. Um, what about these light essences? That's not what I meant to do. Let's try a hundred. I'm gonna start a lot of these things that start fairly early at a hundred.
This could be like 250. Hey, get. Figure out these prices. God damn it, now I have to try and remember. This is really annoying when you're selling a new piece of equipment or whatever, because you have to try and remember what the prices were of things that have been stolen if they get picked up. <laughs> Okay, so the pot was like a really good price, so I could definitely raise the price on the pots and those uh, chestnut things. So a thousand was a super good price, so that means the price on this is super good too. So 1,200 might be a good price. Let's see if we can get away with like... See how few people feel about that, and we'll... Uh, let's sell... Let's sell another Light Essence, I think. He seems pretty happy with that price. So 100 was a really good price for that. Let's double the price then, and see what people think of that. So 1,200 seems like a good price for this fertilizer. Um, there's another shady guy. So he bought these leaves and he was happy with the price. No. Right? Seriously, is this still too expensive? It's in high demand. Whoa, get out of here. Okay, so th those things are still too cheap. You know what, let's try a nickel and dime here and get an extra little bit of cash. So they were still super happy with this price on this thing. So 200 might be still too cheap. Let's double. I'm going to double the price every time someone's like super happy. See how high we can push it. It's got we kind of a bit of figuring out to do. All right, let's sell these pots. Let's see if we can jack the price up just a scooch. Anything else I want to sell here? I want to sell some of these. Nobody wants them at 100. I'll drop this one down to 80. And then I'll... This looks like it could be pretty valuable. The fluid vessel, so I'm thinking 1,500 on this. And then... Then like maybe a similar price on this. Because I'm kind of, I'm dealing with new wares, which is actually kind of exciting because I don't know what the value of things are. God damn it, stop stealing my goddamn goods. I feel like I know. I feel like I'm profiling people now. I'm like, I know you're going to steal. Because you're wearing those dark clothes. I don't know what happens if you leave stuff there without a price. Let's see. We'll close the shop here. I want to go back into the dungeon. So I think we got most of our money back there from that trip. It was a pretty profitable trip, actually, all things considered. And we spent 8,000 to come out of that dungeon and we come away with, like, a lot. Now, some of that is from the previous journey, but I think we, the fertilizer alone, we made our, we made bank on. 
So 80. People were happy with 80, so let's bring that down to 160. Pick this up. Also, I want to I want to play around with this. See what this looks like. like what's the price on this thing? Sell that fertile soil. It's probably at least a thousand. And then this. I thought I'd sold one of them. How do people feel about the price on these things? 1,500 seems like a good price. Let's jack it up one. Ah, right, let's get out of here. So, it is late night. We have a dungeon open. Let's go check out that new boss. Now, I could... In theory, I could invest into the town and get a banker. Although, I think I need to get deeper into the dungeons to get the banker. Could definitely upgrade my shop. Could definitely upgrade some of these things. The sooner I get this, the better. So if I'm going in, I'm going in for money, is really what I'm going in for. Now, out of curiosity, I wonder, can I get more than one of a particular item off this guy? Like, say I want to upgrade... Oh, his shop is closed, never mind. Hmm. I guess he's not as essential. Oh, I need to clean out my inventory too. Inventory management. I know, like I said before, I normally hate inventory management games, but this one actually kind of makes it fun, you know? Oh, I meant to do that the other way. I'm going to try out this new sword and shield. See how they fare. I'll probably do less damage, but of an elemental type, which is, you know, in intriguing. Let's get another potion just to be safe. Because we have the jelly for it now. Oh, she has a little jelly out back. Who I can't hurt. <laughs> Interesting. I don't think I've seen that before. Curious. I might have to go back and look through my videos to see if she has a red jelly back when I was in the golem dungeon. So I do feel like I need to be quicker on my way through these rooms because I've been having trouble with that green guy who doesn't give you time to sort your loot or anything. But yeah, now we're going into level three. So apparently I need to look for some shiny floor. So yeah, this guy poisons. It seems like hitting an enemy will stun it in its animation. It seems, maybe? Okay, so this is the way the exit. I know that much. Wait, how come I can reveal this map? Wait, what? How, how come I know this map? Is it because I left? Oh, no. Okay, I did not realize that was a um, mimic. Oh, my God. Holy crap, I'm taking a lot of damage here. Oh, it stuns people! <gasps> Ooh, I like this. I'm a big fan of that. I'm taking way too much damage from this guy. Why am I taking so much damage? Oh my god, I'm so bad. <laughs> I do less damage, but I do have the advantage of stunning people. Which I think is a big enough advantage to lose a bit of your... 
Oh, I died. <laughs> I think that's the first time I've died in this game. Oh, so you lose all the stuff that's in your backpack. Okay. That's useful information. So I'm at Forest Dungeon 1. Well, this is a chance for me to get some of those wo that wooden stuff. That whole stunning thing is going to throw me off. I mean, it's fantastic. But it's also something I'm not used to. And it does lower my DPS, which is... Might be worth considering. So I want to look for sparkles on floor 3, it said. Which is interesting. I'm going to shoot chests from now on. Preserved root. Fertile soil. I feel like I missed out there. I didn't get any money out of that 8,000 thing that I did. Teleporting back was a mistake. 100%. I just don't have the equipment to... I just don't have the equipment to fight on floor 3 right now. I need to stick to floor 1 and 2 until I have the equipment. I mean, I can probably dip my toe into a few rooms on floor 3. I do like that I can stun these guys, particularly these guys, because they're obnoxious. It's inconsistent, though. That's the problem. And I don't like inconsistent things. Says after being an inconsistent person. <laughs> Self-burn. No, but you, you know what I mean? Like, it, I don't like in inconsistent... I mean, I like procs. Like, that's something I really like. But when it comes to, like, a tight game loop like this, I feel like... You know, procs are cool and all, and I really like them. But I feel like it's going to hurt me more than it helps me in some sometimes, you know? Because if it's not reliable, I can't fully play around it in a predictable fashion. I have to kind of... Because if I play in a way that depends upon them, and I don't get them, I take damage. But if I play in a way and I don't depend on them, then I'm wasting potential. I should just have a stronger weapon, you know? There's been a recent discovery that changed the game. These curious pendants have been uncovered inside the dungeons. I just found one myself. It's quite a fascinating piece. Instead of fainting and losing most of your items escaping the dungeon, one may actually insert gold into this pendant. The result is a portal teleporting you back to town. Longer must one risk life and limb in these dungeons. Some of the more burly adventures, as they like to be called, seem to frown upon the use of these pendants. I mean, yeah. What's the point if you don't get a scar? Am I right? Reasonable. Scars are cool. I don't know why I popped a potion there when I have a healing fountain. You see what I mean about it being inconsistent? Like, it is nice. And it does have audio feedback, so maybe it's a little easier to use than I'm making it out to be. And maybe it's a little bit more consistent than I'm making it out to be. I'd like to know if I can go in there. I'm, I think that's a mimic. That's definitely a mimic. Mimics are hard to fight in melee. They seem to do damage even when I don't, like, deserve to take damage. I'm getting good loot, though. God damn it, I'm taking good damage, though, too. <laughs> uh, plant flesh. We should be getting close to the end here. These little artillery guys are extremely obnoxious. Good thing I have the stuns, though. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting hit more. I don't know. Maybe I'm just playing poorly. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I'm going to hang out with floor 2 here for a while and see what I can pull off. Uh. Okay, it's pretty good against those guys, who are a little bit obnoxious to deal with. I think this guy just creates puddles until you kill him. Magic wood. All that good stuff. Give me your magic wood.
Oh my god, why is there so many mimics? Oh, mimics hurt so bad, dude. Oh, the rush. Oh my god, I'm so bad. <laughs> what happened to me being good at this game? <laughs> I thought I was doing okay, and now I'm getting my ass smashed. Okay, these guys are actually easier to kill with this um, melee stun thing, because you can, like, stun them mid-animation. Okay, you don't want to be at the top of them. You see what I mean about stunning the mid-animation? Get him to attack once, then give him the old whips. You see what I mean about being inconsistent? Like, a couple of times I was able to stun lock him there, and then sometimes I'm hitting him and he gets the attack off. I think it's still worth... ...to use it, but... ...I've got complaints. It's not, I don't think it's a... I don't think it's a straight clear-cut upgrade. All right. We need to be quick, though, because I think we're burning time in this dungeon. Ooh, this is the first time I've encountered the portal to the third dungeon. So I'm kind of excited to try that out. Oh, for the ever... I hate you. I hate you, Mimic. Two shots. Two shots. Kill this guy from range. I want to go check this out. Oh, these enemies look scary. Okay, this is a lot more range than I'm used to dealing with. So he only fires diagonally. Holy crap, these guys are strong. Oh my god. Kidding me? I have to kill both of them to try and just sort my inventory out. A well, good thing range attacks are pretty good against them. He looks like he's getting ready to roll at me. All right, let's clean out some of these cheaper things. Do I need plant flesh? I don't remember if I need plant flesh or not. I definitely don't need this much life fluid. Preserved roots, pretty high value. I'm not getting much straw. I don't need this many upgrade crystals. Okay, I need to make room. Equip that. I do like that you get to get have a little glimpse into the next type of dungeon. I am a big fan of this. I can't believe I misdodged that. Why is there so many mimics?
one shot roll 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 one shot one shot one shot oh my god they're so obnoxious can we just can we talk about how much i hate mimics not in only this game, but in every game. I mean, they're great, because I, I like it when they put Mimics in a game, but they give you lots of loot for killing the Mimic. That's something I really like, because then you're kind of like, oh, I kind of want to find a Mimic. But I don't like it when the Mimic is just an asshole, like Dark Souls or something. <laughs> just, like, basically kills you. I mean, Mimics are assholes, but, like, you should get something for beating it. I, I feel like it should still be a chest, you know? Okay, uh, Blobman has taken note of me. So, Blobman is causing problems. So what was this? For those five as far as forth, have you felt overburdened, carrying just too much loot, but you don't want to stop, just kind of stop. Now I've got something for you, hidden between you and this is start, and where you end. The end here being the massive creature, so it's between the start and the boss. A sparkle, a glimmering something beyond the... Okay, so jump into the sparkling abyss. Got it. If I'm feeling worn down. Okay, this is not good. So they got one of those artillery guys and his stuff does not seem to disappear. And this is a very constricting room. Why are you interfering? Stop it. <laughs> Your God, this is like, I can't even talk. This is like taking so much concentration sometimes. All right, we made it. This is taking far longer than anticipated. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to teleport out of the dungeon again. See if I can get a little bit of equipment upgrades and uh, hit the dungeon again in the next episode. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. We killed 70 enemies. We only opened one chest. We hit so many mimics. So many. But yeah, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, though, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.